Hello, my name is Johan Lisdizov and in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a structure for a simple video game. This structure will be able, you will be able to actually use this structure throughout uh, every single project you are going to create in the future. To get started, go to uh, construct.net, click on construct3, click on login. If you have not already registered, do register, it's free. And then, once you have logged on, there's another option on the top right corner to basically uh, launch uh, Construct 3. Once Construct 3 is launched, you can click on the Guess option here and you can log on again. So now you have you are on your within your account. You can actually go to a new project, and I'm just going to call this project template project game project template to the game just going to leave the default settings i'm going to click create okay i'm going to hold the control key down and the wheel on my mouse to zoom out and zoom in so i can see the whole layout here i'm going to right click and select insert new object this object i'm going to it's going to be a text object and i'm going to call this txt I'm just going to call it uh, uh, main menu. Main menu. Click insert and click here. All right. With the text field selected, let's zoom in. I'm going to go to the properties panel and change the text value to read main menu. I will also be able to change the font style, the font size. So let's make it 100. Let's increase the size so we will be able to actually fit this here. I can actually change the font style. Give a bit of time to load the fonts. Okay. The next thing I need to do is go here now on the project panel. Let's increase the project panel. Let's choose the layouts. Okay, so I'm going to right click here. I'm going to select rename. I'm just going to call this FRM. This is a form, so I'm just going to call it FRM main menu. I'm going to duplicate this now. Right click, select duplicate, and I'm just going to call this FRM UWIN. I'm going to duplicate this now. I'm just going to call it FRM Game Over. I'm going to right click here. I'm going to duplicate. I'm going to call this FRM Level 1. I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to create this Level 2. Okay. So I've got the main menu, you win, Game Over, Level 1, and Level 2. Now I'm going to double click the UWIN screen, I'm going to click on the text box, and I'm just going to change the value here to read UWIN. Now when I do that, if I go back to the main menu, the main menu has not changed. If for some reason this changes, okay, it's to do with your settings, with your properties. But if you cannot find the properties where it basically enables you to add different values, then add a new duplicate this text box so you can right click here and you can select clone and you can rename that to read txt level one right click here clone txt level two right click clone rename txt uh, UWIN right click clone txt you lose or txt game over so you have individual texts, text boxes so let's delete that I can click and drag now the uh, main menu because I'm on the main menu here am I on the menu menu? yeah so I'm going to go there I'm just going to change that value to 
main menu. I'm going to click, double click on the FRM U win. Okay. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to click and drag the U win. I'm just going to change the value to U win. I'm going to double click on the game over. I'm just going to delete that. Let's put game over here. And change the value to game over. I'm going to double click on level one. Click and drag the level one. Change that to level one. I'm going to double click on level 2, let's get rid of that, click and drag the level 2, okay, so now if I go double click on the main menu, I've got main menu, if I double click on you win, I've got you win, if I double click game over, I've got game over, if I double click on level 1, oops, I've got level 1, and if I double click on level 2, I've got level 2, alright, so for the event seeds, I'm just going to rename this, I'll call it ES for event seed, okay, and I will call it uh, options. And then I'm going to create another event seed, uh, right click, add a new event seed. I'm going to call this event seed ES uh, levels. Okay, so I'm going to double click now on my main menu. I'm going to click on the gray area here. And where it says event seat on the properties, I'm going to make sure that I've got the ES options. I'm going to do the same for the U win. I'm going to click on the white area. And for the event seat, I'm, I'm going to make sure that I've got the ES options. If not, select the ES options. I'm going to double click on the game over. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to click away. So ES options. Then I'm going to double click on level one. Now the level one, I want the data seed to the um, event seed to be used. It's going to be the ES levels. And I'm going to apply the ES levels also to the level two. If you have level three, level four, and so on and so forth, you can apply the ES levels. Okay. So now I've got everything in place. What I will need to do is I need to add some buttons. So I'm going to double click on the main menu. I'm going to right click on the white area, select insert, and then I'm going to select button. I'm going to call this BTN, BTN start game, because this is on the main, I'm on the main menu. And click once here, then increase the size. And I'm just going to change the text value to start game. All right. Now I'm going to double click on the U wing, if I am U wing. And I'm going to right click, uh, insert a new object, a button. And I'm just going to call this BTN main menu. Click insert, click once here, increase the size, change the text value to main menu. All right. So the main menu button is here. I can see it here as well. It needs to be applied on the game over as well. So I'm going to double click on the game over. So instead of creating a new button, I just need to click and drag the main menu button over. All right. So the next thing we need to do is go to uh, the level one. And we are going to put some a platform. Let's reduce the font size a little bit. So let's make it, uh, let's make it 24. Let's reduce the size a bit. Okay, and because I would like this uh, label to show throughout the game, I'm going to make sure that I'm with this label selected, text selected, I'm going to apply a behavior, add a new behavior, and I'm going to select anchor. Click add, and then exit. So wherever my player goes, this text goes. So what I'm going to do now next is uh, right click, select insert object, and I'm going to add a tiled background. 
I'm just going to call it TLB child background or TB and I'll call it flow okay so TB flow click insert and click once there I'm just going to select any of the colors here and click the fill color and click once here this will do for now and I'm just going to put the flow so I'm going to make sure the flow is within the dotted lines Going to zoom out so I can see the whole stage and I'm just going to click and drag to increase the width okay with this object selected I'm going to apply a behavior go to behaviors add the behavior I'm going to select solid behavior click add and exit okay the next thing I need to do is right click insert a new object this object will be sprite and I'm going to call this object SPR player. Click insert. Click once on the white area. And then select the color of your choice. Click once. And then use the brush tool here. I'm going to select different color. It's going to give a little eye for now and a big smile. Cheeky smile. Okay. So I'm going to exit this now. And I'm going to reduce the size of the character okay the next thing we need to do is place the character there let's reduce the size we're going to right click we're going to insert a new object this object will be another sprite and i will call this spr enemy click insert click once there and i'm just going to change the color to something else oops let's put red color here and I'm gonna give him eyes as well and I'm just gonna make him visible okay so that's my enemy I'll reduce the, the size okay the next thing I need to do I'm gonna add a new sprite and it's gonna be SPR door so SPR door and this door will take me to the level two so level two click insert click once there and now i'm just going to draw i'm just going to use the control and the wheel on my keyboard the control of my keyboard and the wheel on the mouse sorry i'm just going to draw a door that's the handle Let's fill it. Okay, and now I'm going to crop it and close it. Okay, let's reduce the size a little bit. All right, so that's the door. I put this door there. Right, now I've done this. I'm going to go to my uh, level two and do the same stuff again. But because I don't want to do this and waste my time, I'm going to right click here and select delete the level two. Then right click on the level one and select duplicate. And then automatically it changes this to level 2. So I'm going to double click now on level 2. And the only thing I need to do is replace, remove that level 2 label. And change it, level 1 le text. And put the level 2 text. Let's change that size to 24. Let's reduce the size a bit. And let's make sure that the behavior we added is anchor. Okay, we also need to apply the behavior to this player. So we're gonna click on the player and we're gonna click on behaviors and we're gonna add four behaviors. The first one is solid, add. The next behavior is bounce to layout, add. The next behavior is uh, scroll to, select add. And finally, scroll right down to the bottom, select platform behavior, click add. Okay, so we are on level two. We're gonna right click here. We're gonna clone this object and click one here, once here. So now I have cloned this object. I can double click here and I'm just gonna change the color, the inside color a bit, so to make it a bit different. So I'm gonna delete this object now. I'm gonna put this door there. And I'm just going to change this instead of door level three. I'm going to rename this 
to door you win okay so this is the basic layout that every single game will have so we'll have a main menu you win game over and then from the you win and game over you will have the option to go back to the main menu and from the main menu you will have the option to basically start the game once the game starts you will have basically the level the name of the level you'll have the character you will have the enemy and you'll have basically the door the gate that will take you to the next level once you are on the final level it, you will have the door okay the passage that will take you to the you win screen if you collide with the enemy it will take the you the you lose screen so in the next video tutorial i'm going to show you how to do this thank you very much for watching bye